I'm Nolan Pettit and we're here inside WBON TV studios and this is your Greater Richmond Area Sunrise News Brief. After two Berea College students were killed in a fatal accident last year, the two drivers involved in the incident have both been indicted by a Madison County Grand Jury. Natasha Gross of Berea was involved in other accidents and was taken into custody after an investigation while the other driver, Daryl Long Foster, was arrested at the scene. Both drivers could be found guilty of reckless homicide, second degree manslaughter, or even murder as they're both accused of causing the death of two college students. According to the indictment, both were under the influence of various drugs and alcohol while driving, warranting the more serious charges, showing reckless regard for human life. Due to inclement weather, some schools in surrounding counties have decided to call off classes for their students today. Clark, Garrett, and Montgomery counties have all called off school today, along with Jessamine County, who's canceling classes and using today as an NTI or non-traditional instruction day. Fayette County schools will release students from classes two hours early, with buses still running their afternoon routes. As the weather moves in with the chance of ice and snow tonight, be sure to send any news tips, wrecks, or winter weather pictures to the Facebook page of WBON-TV. The Estill County Landfill has now been granted a preliminary approval by the state for dealing with the dumped radioactive material. The material called T-Norm was illegally dumped across from Estill County High School in 2015. Since that time, the landfill has proposed two options to deal with the material, either leave it where it lay as it's spread across multiple acres, or excavate the area and remove the material to place it elsewhere. The state and environmental cabinet voted in favor of leaving the material where it sits in fear of exposing the citizens of Irvin to radioactivity if the material were to be moved. The cabinet will give final approval after the landfill proposes a plan to monitor the waste. Thanks for watching your Greater Richmond Area Sunrise News Brief. For more news, check out WBONTV.com. I'm Nolan Pettit.